welcome nice having you again here on wheel edutech and in this video we're going to be looking at the solution to question 8 a and b a typical algebra sequence and series question taken from the csec math exam pass paper solutions january 2012 section 1 now before i i get into this let's just pull this up a bit all right that should be pretty good that should be good enough now here a very important note before we start the question that an answer sheet is provided for this question so please um if when working this question when you reach question number eight on the csec math paper if you don't see an answer sheet please ask the invigilators for one that's a very important note okay guys now let's get into it let's just take this up a little bit more now it states sarah is making a pattern of squares using straws she uses four straws for the sides and two longer straws for the diagonals the first three figures in her sequence of shapes are shown below now here they are we have the first uh, three figures here now in part a they're saying now oh, on your answer sheet draw draw figure number four uh, the fourth figure sh the fourth shape in the pattern and that's an easy two marks now basically if we are required in part a to draw figure number four first let's analyze the first three figures in the pattern that they have given us if you notice the first figure uh, the boundaries it takes four straws and I'm running my hand my pointer around the boundaries and then you see the two diagonals okay now if you notice now in the second figure is as if you have added another square to the first figure okay another square so we have just attached another square to the side okay now if you notice again my friends when i move from figure two to figure three is as if i have attached another sh another square to figure two to get figure three okay hope you're seeing that pattern okay with my diagonals running through now this simply means to get my figure number four i would have to attach another square to figure three to get figure number four so let's quickly look at that so here here again my friends here here we have our figure number four and as the sequence as as we have stated before it's as if I've added another box another square to figure number three to get my figure number four okay now hope that was useful so here we would have our fourth figure that's what your fourth figure should look like in the sequence now in part b they're asking us uh, on your answer sheet complete the two rows in the table for figure four that's part one and figure two sorry figure 10 rather and that's part two now here if you look across here we have our table and this is uh b part one they want us to con uh, insert the appropriate values in this row so let's just quickly um get that out the way now what i would like for us to look at is as the sequence now if you notice here um in the fur in the formula column okay we have a four in the figure column rather we have a one here then we have a two below that then three then four now if you notice for my formula let's make some comparisons and see if we can establish a sequence now if you notice any value that is in the figure column um, it's also in the formula column multiplying six okay and I am subtracting one less than the figure in the that than the number in the figure column so for example here I have a 1 multiplied by a constant 6 and I'm subtracting 0 and 0 is 1 less than 1 now if you notice in the second row I have a 2 if you notice they repeated the 2 there multiplying the same 6 the constant 6 and then I'm subtracting 1 less than 2 then in my in my third row I have my 3 here it's right here a constant 6 and I'm subtracting 1 less than the figure which is 2 okay my figure is 3 and I'm subtracting 2 here so um, hopefully you would have um, so you would have you would, you would have seen that sequence by now so in completing these two rows now basically what I'll have to do I'll have to repeat the number here so I would have a 4 there okay multiplying a 6 because my 6 is constant and I'm subtracting one less than the figure value which would be 3 there okay now when you calculate this basically whatever whatever the formula works out to that's the value that would go in the number column for example 1 times 6 is 6 minus 0 would give us a 6 for the first 
uh, value in our number column then we, you would have a 2 times 6 is 12 minus 1 you would have 11 there and then you have a 3 times 6 minus 2 3 sixes would give us 18 minus 2 we would have a 16 so basically what we are saying here is 4 sixes would give us a 24 and we are subtracting 3 from 24 and obviously that would leave us with a 21 so here we would have a 21 there my friends all right now let's go down to the next row and again this is pretty cool let me just change my color quickly now here in the last row obviously we would have the figure value there so i would have a 10 there multiplying my 6 which is constant and i'm subtracting one less than my figure okay so i have a minus 9 there Okay, and 10 sixes would give me a 60, 60 minus 9, and that would be equal to 51. Okay, so here I would have a 51 right there, my friends. Okay, so um, it's that easy. That's how you fill out um, those two rows. Hope that was helpful. See you in the next video where we'll be answering, looking at the solution to part C and part D of number 8. Bye-bye.